So here's a close-up of the panels. There's the old, uh, uh, the other set that I had made yesterday. So here's the new panels uh, that I just made. <coughs> and as you can see, I used the lag bolts with the washers. Put them right in between each one. One on the top, one on the bottom. And went all the way through. And then these uh, corner braces. Uh, bent appropriately on the vise with a hammer so they hold the edges uh, these ends down so the wind can't uh, move that up and then about four inches from the from this edge is where I start and what I do is I mark one inch of the top of this board and line them all up that way if you line them up one inch from the top and kind of keep that then they're gonna be you know pretty close pretty even back here so you can see they look pretty uh, pretty good there now <clears throat> the junction box that I was talking about earlier I'm in the process of just putting it in so what I do is uh, uh, I got one that's just fully closed uh, put a, uh, a twin screw here and here uh, you should actually use a one on five eighths two inches is a little bit too long but that, that's okay uh, and we're gonna put the uh, bus bars in here uh, so you can see here uh, the wires are already hooked up so here's a wire from the panel on the left panel on the right you can see that the positive on one panel goes to the negative of the other one and that leaves you with a positive from one panel and the negative from the other panel available that's 24 volts if you put a voltmeter across these two you should get 24 volts so that's one string and the next string is again like that positive to negative right oh I got this one wrong this one is wired in parallel so I'm gonna have to redo that one that would give me 12 volts so uh, this one is uh, wired correctly so I'm glad I rechecked so here's a positive and a negative with a resulting positive and negative on the end. If you put a voltmeter across, that'll be 24 volts. So I'm going to go back and redo that one real quick, and then I'll show you how we're going to put the bus bars and string them all up there. Thanks. So here's the uh, middle string fixed now. We have negative to positive and we have then a resulting uh, negative and positive which should have 24 volts now we're going to bring those strings into this those strings into this uh, junction box and here's the bus bars, bus bars that I was telling you about uh, I use a four position one uh, one for the positive one for the negative we're going to screw them right in here and uh, we're going to put our wires in there so I'm going to show you how that looks in just a minute. So this is the junction box now wired. You'll see that there's three strings of wires from each one of the three strings that um, parrot strings that we created, and the two bus bars are installed with wood screws. And I have all the positives going here, all the negatives going here, and then we're going to go with 10 gauge wire from the po from the negative and the positive out of this hole here and you see that there's two 3 8 uh, inch uh, holes drilled uh, we're going to put a, uh, a black and a red 10, in, uh, 10 gauge wire to go here and then that will tie the string to the next string and then from there to the batteries the basic tools that you'll need are a uh, wire stripper slash wire cutter I like to use a dedicated pair of wire cutters uh, just dykes uh, to do my wire cutting and then a flat tip screwdriver to uh, tighten and loosen the bus bars and then a Phillips screwdriver to do everything else now the lag bolts depending on what size you have uh, you know uh, what size you buy I bought a, a quarter inch by uh, uh, two inch uh, lag bolts and uh, so these are quarter inch heads uh, on this 
uh, I'm sorry, not quarter inch. These are 7 16 uh, hex heads on these lag bolts, and, but they're quarter inch shaft and two inches long. And that's exactly what you need uh, to get this project going. Now it's all a matter of closing up the lid on that junction box, throwing them up on the roof, and we're going to be good to go here in a little while. As you can see, the roof is a metal roof uh, all around the house, and uh, these pieces here are going to lay in between the valleys of that. And then those are about almost a foot across in between the ridges. So I cut, I'm going to cut pieces that are uh, 10 inches wide to give it support in the middle. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I will uh, post more as soon as we get him up on the roof. Take care.